Hi, this is going to be a quick video on installing Istio on Minikube and getting Kiali up and running. So we're working right now at the time. The Istio version is 1.4. Um, so we'll go over to the getting started. Uh, we'll go over to the platform setup, Minikube. And if we go down here, I just select that, paste it. Oh, excuse me, I'm, I'm using uh, VirtualBox for mine. All right, and you can use, I mean, depends on what platform you're on as to which driver you're using. All right, now we'll just go ahead and uh, start up Minikube with 16 megs and four CPUs. And uh, important to note here, uh, the version of Kubernetes, which is the 1.14, uh, not the 1.16 new version. And we'll just let it start here. It's going to take a few minutes to do this, so we will wait. I'll join you when it finishes. There, done. Um, it did take uh, about five minutes or so for, uh, for that mini cube to actually get started. But now we can continue with our install. Now we have the Kubernetes platform set up. Uh, so now we're going for the Istio install, and we'll use this Istio cuddle. And the you can read through this other stuff. Um, we're going to use the demo profile here, and the demo profile actually installs uh, Kiali as well. So we'll just go ahead and start that up. Copy and paste. Pods are, we still have some uh, pods being created here. So I'm actually going to do this and we will watch as our pods come up. Give us a little more room here. See, our pods are coming up. And we can see uh, Kiali is actually running here as well. I'm going to split this window. And in another window, I'm going to actually um, launch uh, Kiali. So, steel cut a little. Um, Dashboard Kelly. The Kelly dashboard, it, we're going to launch the Kelly dashboard. I'm going to use a different browser here because that's my default browser because the Kelly dashboard will automatically invoke the default browser. So we will wait for that and it doesn't take long. And bingo, we now have uh, Kelly up and running. That's it.